friends. I want to put a disclaimer on the beginning of this video. Ziggy is in the pasture, um, but I feel like this disclaimer is important. I made a calculated risk to do this. We had a plan and I went completely against the plan. I went rogue and I got the consequences of that. So it was a little wild. I don't know what y'all are going to see. Um, Bree came and ended up helping us and so did Jake after we got the emu and we got the emu in before they came in. Some other animals got out. Wasn't a big deal. I got a scratch you'll see later from him. Um, but I chose not to, I thought leading him with feed would be the least stressful way and he ended up taking off and running. He didn't go anywhere far. There was just a lot of running around the yard and it was chaotic. So what I'm asking is please be nice. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, please. I feel really anxious about what y'all are gonna say right now. So please just bear with me. Um, I thought this would go a lot easier. It didn't. And Marie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Um, it went a little rough. So please just be nice. Let's get right on into it. Oh, gunpowder. <laughs> hey friends, we have got a big, big day. The weather is not ideal for this, but it's gonna happen. Today is Ziggy's day to come to the pasture. If you don't know who Ziggy is, well, now that I think about it, I oh, haven't- Ziggy Smalls. I haven't told YouTube, I told Facebook, so I know a good number of you know, but Ziggy is the emu's name, and Ziggy's coming to the pasture today. <laughs> yes, I don't we're know how... so excited, let's do it. Oh, I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna do it. The only problem is we wanted all the littles to be over here, and we could close them by himself, but- It might be okay. What if we put them by the pond area and then we, either we do, close them? Well, we have to decide. Do we do a hard launch or a soft launch? I usually like soft launches better. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. 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 He's doing, with him chasing Chia, technically he's doing his job. Yeah, I know. Oh, my gosh. Here comes our new resident dirty cat. <laughs> um, if you understand what a dirty cat is, then you know exactly what I'm saying. Um, a dirty cat is... Normally, cats that don't clean themselves, there's normally... I'm trying to bite your pants. I know, your pants. I'm oh, wearing your yeah. pants. I don't have winter clothes. <laughs> They're all in a Did box you... somewhere. Oh, my God. Ooh. Did you get that on no, the No, I didn't. Watch out, Tina. He's still on you. He's not concerned. He just jumped. He just did it like the curb stomp to her. I'm serious. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Did you actually get that on video? No, I didn't. Oh, ah, you just bit me. He jumped up straight in the air and he landed on her, basically. Crazy. Chia, you gotta run, baby. But no, I think this dirty, this is a little dirty cat, little derpy cat, but new friend following us around. It's great. But let's get into this. Hard launch, soft launch. All right, guys, we have separated all of, most of the littles. We've got Donkey Dan in there, Starla's in there, Sissy's in there. And Imogene wants to come back in there, so. I think donkeys will be perfect to start off for him because he's used to donkeys and our donkeys are really calm. So it might actually be good to kind of get him comfortable with other living creatures even quicker, you know what I mean? All right, so we're gonna have, we're gonna try a lead rope method. But first, before you do that, I mean, you might get a lead rope. I'm gonna try and see if he'll just kind of come out with some food. What if he runs rope though? You sure? Yeah. You want to take that chance? Yeah. All right, guys. She wants to take that chance. You haven't been wrong yet, lovey, so we'll see. Come on. We don't need the rogue me running around Plum Grove. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. You can change the. Yeah, I'm going. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, good. Oh, it's because I fed the other birds right there. Oh, gosh. They got to be terrified. Can you imagine how terrified they must be seeing that thing come running at them? Okay, 100 I'm miles. In the open oh, golly, Wally. <laughs> the, oh, my goodness. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't <have> that. <laughs> hey, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, this is. What in the heck is he doing? Oh my gosh, look how fast he runs. 
What is that guy doing? All right, I'm going. All right, so I'm trying to go down the other, I'm gonna go to the other end of the driveway. They cut him off so that he don't go onto the road. If he's rogue over here, Jake, Bree, Uncle Dan, whoever's home can help. We'll figure that out later. The one thing that'll make it a heck of a lot harder is if we go on the road, that'll create a serious problem. So right now, I'm gonna get over there as fast as I can to cut him off so that he don't go that way. All right, lock the gate. Lock, gate is locked. And now, he, uh, I think I'm gonna use the side side to block the other side now so that he's limited to only our pasture. I'm gonna go up slowly because I don't wanna scare him too badly. You can see we've had a strong rain. Meg told me to stop, I don't know if y'all can see that. Bubby, do you want me to park it over there so he's stuck in our area only? Well, it's not really calm right now. We're going to freak him out. Okay. All right, Meg's trying to figure out what to do until she gives me further instruction. The best thing to probably do is just stay calm and be patient. <laughs> I think I should do it now though. I know she don't want me to agitate him. I think I should do it while he's over there, Levy. Carries out, great. I, I think I should go over there now so that while he's over there. All right, I'm gonna do it, she said okay. And we had a pig out too. This is a whole disaster, guys. Yes. It's all right, nothing. That can be cleaned up with a little bit of effort. still get through there not nearly as easily though i want to start by saying i'm sorry for what your pants oh no i love these pants um guys this is why i said we needed to be meticulous about how we did this because this is all feet <laughs> um i really oh, thought my goodness calculated it was a calculated risk doing it that way i think it would have been a hot mess express anyways because it kind of it didn't go exactly like this at Marie's, but i didn't want to pick him up we ended up picking him up, and yeah, I'm glad that's all that happened, but y'all, this shows you he is still an animal that can hurt you, and why we had him in the stall for as long as we did. Imagine if we took him out like two days ago, or, or two days after he got here. I'm sorry, he was heavy, and I was running. I told you we should have done the rope. It's okay, I thought I <laughs> calculated risk, we all make mistakes. It's okay, no problem. He's in there now. He's, Everybody's safe. Yeah, he's in there now. He's exploring. Now there's the case of getting all the other animals that got out, getting them back in. We got Carrie about to jump on top of the chicken run. Where's our cooties at? Those are the old, there's only three that are out. Okay, we wanted this to be chaos free. Um, That's not how things go though. We already know that. Part. I, I, you saw it on camera. I made a calculated risk. Nothing bad happened, thank goodness. This is what we've come away with. That's the worst thing that happened. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and, you know, he's doing fine right now. Nobody's bothering him. He is pacing the fence line. I think because he sees all these animals, he's kind of used to. 
So again, we're going to, farming is all about making decisions. And I think we're about, we weren't originally going to do this, but seeing how he's reacting, we might just go ahead and let him do these pastures. It's like Lily says in How I Met Your Mother, make the mistake that you don't know is a mistake until you make the mistake. Exactly. And that's exactly what I did today. So please, you know, y'all be nice. Um, if you think I did something wrong, you're right. I did. No. But don't, you don't need to tell me about it. <laughs> That's how we learn. Um, but now we know, and now I have proof for you that this animal can still do damage, even if it's not an ostrich. <laughs> and I think if we hadn't had him in the stall as long as we did, this would have been way worse. Because there were so many times when everything went quiet and it was just me and him, he calmed down. You know? That's why Bree came the other way, because I blockaded that yeah. whole side with a bunch of the tractors. Yeah, I, yeah. I gotta go move those. But after this. After this. All right. Gunpowder wants to be here. All right, y'all. We're going to let people come in and meet him. My only concern now is how feeding is going to go. I still would like to hand feed, but he's very skitzed out right now. You know, he's very. Do you mind videoing while I open this gate? No problem. All right. Oh, oh boy. They said hard watch. <laughs> This is... Look, they don't care though. They don't care. The only, this is this. Annie's the one I'm a little bit. Annie don't care either. It doesn't look like. No, they know there's food over there because I threw out. Well, then this is perfect. A little bit of it. Ah, hey. <laughs> Let me just bump right into you. <laughs> huh? So I know what. You now you know what one of your new Christmas gifts is going to be. Me? Yeah. What? A new pair of me. Oh, I know, I know. These are his, like, favorite. They're I'm not my so favorite. Sorry. It's okay, love. It's not your fault. I mean, it kind of was. Okay. No. Not not that the pants got tore. <laughs> I'm just curious about how come you left the, the gate open way over there. I think, I think, I think, I think that was in the moment. Which one? I, that that was, one over there. Because I figured if I could get around him, he wanted to go in. When you were going around there, you had my phone, so there was no video to prove it, unless on the camera, but... He was trying to get in there. Yeah. So I moved him away from it. And then he wanted to go in. And that's why I opened that gate. I figured if we have gates open, it is not hard to get other animals in. You that, know? that makes sense. We just leave it open. And then I, I think in that moment, it was a mindset of just get him in. We can get anybody else who got out that's back exactly in later. That's exactly what it is. Because I was not concerned. Because I knew you were going to have that gate. Who, my worst, the only ones I worry about are the emu now. Or is Ziggy. Ziggy, he has a name now. Ziggy, I'm not worried about Dan and Ima. No, they're easy. They'll walk Annie, back. Ernie, Oki. Yeah. But not even because they didn't care because we did a good job with feeding up. Yeah. Um, it was very chaotic. Um, hey, gunpowder. You know, I've done research and I knew that that probably wasn't a good decision. But I guess I want to tell y'all my mindset of what I thought was we had a established. Gunpowder, you silly cat. Falling. We had established a lot of trust in the stall and he had been following me around the stall. I think what happened is once he saw he could run, he got spooked. Yeah. They get spooked really easily. And I think he took that as go and run. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Well, we're fine now. He's he's right here still pacing the fence line. Everyone else is eating the leftover food I threw out. He is pacing because he's stressed out right now. I, full disclosure, right. I had to sit on Run him. free, Ziggy! But he's not making any stressed out noises either. So, this is good. And he's not attacking anybody. Yeah, I, I thought there, I, I was warned that there might be some, if anybody runs, it might take some time to adjust to each other, but everybody's doing really well. He's the only one that's really worked up right now and that is my fault. Marie, I'm sorry when you see this, you're going to be so ashamed of me. Um, I thought it would go a little bit better. I said Marie's going to be so ashamed. So I'm going to put the title's going to be a disclaimer. Marie, don't watch. <laughs> don't watch. But yeah, y'all. Um, I don't know. I'm going to wait for him to calm down a little bit. Um... I don't know. I'm feeling a little, I'll be honest with you. I'm feeling a little anxious about what people are going to say about 
how we did this. I did make a very, very calculated risk. Um, so please don't be mean. Don't be mean. Trying to give him a space. <laughs> he did get fed before we did this though, so I'm gonna wait till he calms down a little bit to feed him. I know it's, it, I just, I feel bad for him right now because I know like this is what's best for him and he's probably so freaked out right now. And if you see in the background, all my chickens are out. Everybody is out um, enjoying, but he's going to explore. We're all going to decompress. It's going to be okay. And I will have more videos to come for y'all. Just please be nice. Please be nice. Thank y'all for watching. Bye, friends.